Hi, this is Alex Palt here at the Embedded World Show in Nuremberg, and I'm here with uh, C.S. Lin from Windbond. And well, um, obviously we're talking about Embedded, but well, security is important as well, isn't it? Yes, it's very important, yeah. Well, and the funny thing is, is that up until a few years ago, security was, yeah, maybe. And then it became a buzzword, you know, hey, we have security, but what kind? And now security is really a critical application space, wouldn't you say? Yeah, actually, right now it's very critical to the system because hacker can you, uh, go through his uh, hack one of the device and kind of uh, risk the whole uh, entire system. Exactly. Now, I notice you have two boards here that are for uh, endpoint security. Can you explain these devices for me? Yes, uh, let me introduce uh, first. One is called uh, Max 1000, which is the called uh, IoT Maker Board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, basically, uh, Winbang integrates security into the memory device. Mm -hmm. So we utilize the memory device to do the authentications, which means to turn the Maker Board to a trusted device, which means allow host to identify the board first before you access the data. So, which is very important uh, for the securities. Well, and that's the key because it's not—it's it, not enough to just simply say it's secure. There have to be ways of uh, backing it up, verification, right. certification, and you supply that information as well. Correct. Correct. Basically, it's just like when you're passing the, you know, the, uh, the uh, airport securities, you need to show the uh, passport. Basically, basically, our device uh, provide the security keys, which is for uh, the host and the fresh to do the authentication, to recognize each other, to trust each other before they doing the further interactions. Exactly, so by doing the authentication between, they create the secure link that you could work with right. forward. Correct, yes. Excellent, now what about this board here? It says security wind bond authentication flash. Well, talk, tell us a little bit about that board. Yeah, basically, uh, this is the uh, spy flash. We integrate the security into the chips. It provides the C, uh, four uh, secret keys to allow uh, you to uh, bind with uh, four different hosts. This is how they establish the trust. i give an example. Uh, basically, uh, for this IoT uh, maker boards, that the, the local uh, Max 10 host can establish the trust between the flash and uh, if you put this IoT board into the internet, basically you can use your phone to establish a link with that board also. So which prevent the hacker try to replace the board. So a hacker, you can actually control the board from externally, securely, with Correct. your cell phone. Correct. To do the authentication. So the, for the authentication, so that way, um, even if the system is an open system, hackers can't get in. Right. For example, uh, how can I tell uh, if I use my phone, only I hold a key will be able to access to that uh, IoT board. But for example, if you are a hacker, you are trying to hack the board, but you will not pass the authentication that embedded into our memory device. Got it. So the, so the actual authentication is, is uh, at the hardware level in the memory. Yes. So it prevents, obviously, tampering. Right, that's correct. And that's, the second board actually is uh, even uh, more. This is for the uh, IP camera. Basically, it's, uh, for example, the baby monitor. So, mm -hmm. so people install the baby monitor at home, right? So the parent like to monitor even at work. But how can you make sure the person who's logging is you know, here? No one else, else can see it, nobody else. So that's which means that only parent, they hold the same key as the baby monitor are able to get access to the camera and see the live video. Right, so without the access keys, nobody can get yeah, in. Basically, for example, if I'm a hacker, I try to you know, you know, sneak in, try to look at the, your camera, which is I, I was not able to because I don't have the keys. I will not pass the challenge response was conducted by our flash. Excellent. Now, um, what about physical security? If I have access to the device, what protections keep it from, safe from me? Basically, uh, as I mentioned, our device has uh, four keys. Mm -hmm. And the keys uh, is actually implementing OTPs, and only uh, doing one times. And once the key is provisioned, uh, by all means, there's no way to read the key out of the device. Which ah. if even hacker open the device, you will not be able to see the keys. Which Very is nice. the most important secret between the host and the device. So the keys are protected regardless? Yeah, it's protected regardless, yes. Excellent. Now, I understand you had another board you wanted to talk about, but your colleague was going to yes, step I'm in for us. I'm going to invite my uh, colleague to, uh, uh, to introduce the third board, OK? Thanks, CS. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. OK, thank you. Hi, Takahiro. Yeah, thank you. Have a seat. And I understand you have another board for us. This is the board for the, the SPI stack. The originally, this board is in the flash memory mm -hmm. and the uh, USB memories. Then it boot from the flash memory, mm -hmm. and the Linux kernel part is in the USB memory. But this board is in the only one uh, serial flash. This is uh, the spy stack. Okay. Called in the, this is a uh, NOAA flash and serial NAND into the one packages. 
Right. So the, 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 the feature of this board is to remove you know, USB memories. This is a very uh, cost-effective solution. To protect USB memory? Yes. To remove the USB memory. Originally, the, this board needs the, the USB memory mm -hmm. on this portion. But this board do not have the USB memory. Right, there's no, okay, oh, there is no memory. Yes, no but, memory the, but the, this board can work. Because uh, this is uh, our Winbon uh, technology, SPI stack. I see, so the stack is in the chip. Yes. The USB doesn't have to have any memory and Correct. it prevents hacking. Correct. Excellent. Yeah. We want to have the serial no flash and serial NAND. Then this is the only one package in the serial no flash and serial NAND. So that can work in the only one package. Right, and so you can use a secure USB port. Yes, you are right. You're right. Yeah. Excellent. Now, so that would actually also fit for um, a lot of different applications, secure uh, terminals, kiosks, anything you're using USB, correct? Yes. Well, for example, uh, in uh, some applications using the flash and the EMMC, then the, the EMMC can be removed to use in the spice stack. Because they, they, this have in the shear flash and shear NAND. And shear NAND portion is removed, can be removed from the EMMC. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that is uh, the, our uh, uh, features. So, and um, what are the other advantages? If I remove the memory from the USB, does it give me any other advantages from security? No, no, no security. This is for the uh, cost-effective solution. It's, it's a cost-effective solution? Yes. So, and so it's to save the money on the memory that's used yes. in use? Got yeah. It. Here the engineers consider to use in the USB memories for storing the Linux or some graphic data. Mm -hmm. But the SPI stack can remove to the, the USB memories. Because this have the NAND flash inside of this inside packet. It, it has yes. It. yes, yes, I get it now. Yes, yeah. I, see. I understand now. Okay, so this has all of the memory, the flash, everything needed to drive the USB, so that way the USB doesn't need it itself. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it, Takahiro, for taking the time to explain all of this to us. Um, and they can go to winbond.com to find more information. Yes. Excellent. Sure. Well, and thank you very much for taking the time today. Thank you.